Hi everyone, today we're working on the interior of the dome. It's going to be a bit noisy in here because it's quite echoey, there's no insulation in yet. Um, and also we're in the middle of a storm, so I've come to the shelter of the dome to get on with the floor. Um, if you watched an episode a couple of weeks ago, then you will know that the starlings pooed all over the floor. So I've got bird poo on my floor, which is not a good look. Um, so I've got my bucket of hot soapy water, my mop, a dustpan and brush, and I'm just gonna give this whole floor a really good clean, and then I'm gonna start painting it. Luckily, the bird poo seems to be coming off all right just with a scrubbing brush and some hot soapy water. So um, I'm literally going to take each panel at a time and make sure I thoroughly scrub it. The floor has been scrubbed to within an inch of its life now. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I can start on the painting. So the floor is all completely dry. Now, we're very lucky to have interior designer Zoe Hewitt helping us with the design. And she has suggested that we paint the floor white, so like a whitewash. So my expert helper and I are going to have a go now and see what it comes out like. first coat of whitewash which I think might be my only coat. I'm going to take it back to Zoe and see what she thinks um, and then if it's all good then I'm going to give it a couple of coats of varnish. It's another glorious rainy day here in Somerset and I have come up to quickly show you the floor. So I've done two coats of white paint and two coats of um, interior floor varnish here so the floor's all done and now we can get started on the insulation. So I've got three bags of insulation and also the curtains to do today. So I'm gonna start with the curtains because that's what they recommend you do first. And then I'm gonna crack on with the insulation. So I've got the curtain pole ready to go. Um, these are the curtain rings that they supply with the separate hooks. But because I found in the other day that they just kept falling off and I would just find hundreds of these every day when I was during the summer. So I've gone and bought ones that are all integrated so there's not like two separate bits. I'm hoping these will work better, but I will let you know. Um, so now we need to attach the curtain rail and put up the curtain. So I'm gonna have a go at that now. So there's my lovely navy curtain. So they add a bit of drama and a bit of privacy. Zoe has interior designed based off my navy curtains and the grey insulation, which is in these bags and is gonna go up next. So here's the colour of our insulation. I really like it. It's gonna be completely different from the other day, which is just beige and beige. Um, so you see it's basically the, that um, kind of bubble wrap insulation, all covered with a nice, beautiful material. And it makes it look so lovely and plush in here. So I think this is the first panel I need, which is going right up the top there. So uh, yeah, let's get going. so far I have done the worst of the height I think like all that faffing and ladder up and down is a bit of a pain I think now that I'm a bit lower it should be a lot easier um, and once I've got all these in then the bits start to get a lot bigger so these are the smallest bits here and um, then once you get bigger sections it becomes a bit easier Right, so I've broken the back of it now, I think, because it's so much up and down, up and down the ladder. I look really hot and sweaty. Ugh. But yeah, just got to do the last two rows now. I'm quite cross with myself because the ladder's got rubber bits on the top. And I've ended up, I'm not sure you can see, with little black marks where the rubber has rubbed against the insulation. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can scrub it off. It's very annoying. Well, I'm really pleased that's all finished, just in time to pick kids up from school. 
It looks so different, doesn't it? It just makes such a difference having that layer of insulation. So yes, love it. Our next job is building a bathroom in here. So we're gonna have a go at building the stud wall and all that ourselves. Um, I'm gonna get a plaster in to do the plasterboard and plaster and a tiler in. And then, yeah, hopefully it's coming together, but still a lot to do. So the other thing I want to do is paint this door blue. Um, I'm kind of cheating a bit and I'm not sure it's gonna work. I'm using blue chalk paint. I couldn't really find a like wooden paint for like external blue. So this is the paint that I'm using for the bunk beds as well. So I'm gonna do it in this and then I'm going to seal it in outdoor varnish. So, because on that other dome, I just love the green door, like I love the really dark green. So I think a dark blue will look pretty cool to tie it all in with the blue. So I'm going to do that now. So what's the verdict on the color? I really like it. I know it's not the same as the blue, but I think it goes really nicely and I think it will all look lovely. So yeah, like it, I shall carry on. So there's my blue door. I'm really happy with the finished result. It seemed to work fine doing the chalk paint and the varnish. Um, we've still got to do a lock and still got to do the um, decking, but um, otherwise we're getting there with the color scheme. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully on our next episode, you might see what's going on in here. Sneaky peek for you. But hopefully we'll have a bit more of an update. If you like our channel, we would love you to subscribe and hopefully we will see you next time.